All right, good morning, everybody. Today is officially puppy day. pickup day. We're grabbing our first puppy, Mila. I'm excited. It's very early. It's like six o'clock. It literally just hit six o'clock in the morning. You can't see the clock, but we got about a four and a half hour drive ahead of us. It's gonna be a long one. Well, she's driving the whole way. Yeah. You can hold the puppy on the way back, make a couple stops and stuff like that. But <laughs> we got a couple stuff here. We got the puppy pee pads, just in case she tries to take a little whizzo in the car. Um, we got the bag here. It's got some like cleaning supplies, some toys, some treats, stuff to kind of make her feel cozier as she enters the car with a strange jaw half first. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in there and then we got her little blanket here to make it a little cozy. It's a pug blanket. How are you feeling? I am feeling not excited for the drive, but very excited for the puppy. You excited for the puppy? Yeah, we've been thinking I feel like we're this. ready. I know, well we've been thinking about this for years. It's just a matter of finding the right puppy, which we did. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of like research and stuff like that. We got a whole puppy binder here. This is the first section, which is all about her meals, what it is, when it is, and how much we're feeding her each month. There's like a much longer list, but this is like the basics we're gonna focus on for like the first month. And we're gonna put a little sticker whenever she does a good job. It's a lot of dog stuff. It's our first puppy ever, but I just feel like, I feel like we got like, we got some wind beneath our wings here. You feel that? Yeah, I feel it. You feel it? All right. Feel it. <laughs> the puppy's already starting to leave her mark on the house. We got her puppy playpen here. She's gonna need like a controlled space to play. Oh, we got these cute freaking toys. Look at this. It's like a little bit of dim sum. And it's like a, it's like a scrunchie toy or whatever. And then inside of it, three different little squeaky dumplings but they all have different faces. So we got her that. We're bringing like a different toy for the trip. We're only gonna give her like one at a time because then she'll just get bored of all of them. And then we got her crate as well. She's already been sleeping in a crate with all the other puppies. So we figured we'd just bring it just because maybe she'll be like a bit more comfortable. She can be scared. I don't know. I'm, I'm just hoping she's not too scared. But yeah, we're gonna go grab some breakfast on the road right now. We'll see you guys probably like at some point throughout the drive. I don't know what we're gonna get. I'll probably get like a little chicken chipotle wrap, a little sausage and egg. And cheese, McMuffin, I don't know, something like that. Three hash browns and two hash browns. <clears throat> pause, pause. Uh, Get one sec, sorry. Two. two was that two hash browns? I say one sec. Two farmers wrap combos. Uh, two farmers wrap combos. Sausage or bacon? Sausage. Sausage. Okay. And then a hash brown with each. So we're gonna eat up and yeah, go from there, man. So we're about halfway there now. We have like an hour and 41 minutes left. I took a nap, I was so tired. I only got like four hours of sleep last night because I was busy getting with some work done for today. We're getting there. Driving. Lake has been driving the whole time. <laughs> I've been driving. <laughs> yeah, I feel like throughout this entire time it hasn't really been hitting us. Or at least it hasn't been hitting me, the fact that we're getting a puppy. Now that like, we're pretty much only two hours away. It's starting to feel very, very real. I'm like, oh my God, we're like two hours from now, we're gonna be holding little baby Mila. Okay, so we're nearly there now and we are literally, we're in Narnia. I mean, it's not quite Narnia. It's honestly gorgeous out here. There's water, there's trees, but this is, we're in the mystical mountains of Nova Scotia. 20 minutes till we arrive. It's been a long drive. Lakin's legs, they're numb. I'm chilling. Five naps. Five naps. Like, um, I don't think all the puppies have been picked up by their owners yet, so I'm pretty sure when we go there, we'll be able to see like the whole pack. Yeah, some of the other owners are like Montreal and Ontario. So they got a lot of animals, they said. I just remember saying that they were like capped out at like eight animals in the house, so um, that's why they honestly couldn't keep some of them. But oh hello God. there. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this is a mini way. Oh, this one is the one that she's really close with. I got a, is it one of these two? It's that little farm boy actually with the black hat. This one, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi there. Yeah, he is such a sweet Oh my god. The yeah. face. Like, he's such a gentle boy. Like, calm down. He's the old grandma dog. Aww. I might know. He does. I might know. He's the old boy. Yeah, he kisses. He's just saying a lot of the time. You getting them lickies in? They are so adorable. I don't know how you're going to keep them all. I know. That's literally what I'm thinking right now. got out and she so said goodbye nice. to everyone they were beautiful people they gave amazing us blanket full of everyone's scent yeah has her her mums and her whole family scent and everything so she feels a little bit more comfortable but i think she's definitely a little bit on the nervous side right now hey mila look at the camera yeah. <laughs> she's oh look at her look at her but yeah, she's a little she's a little nervous right now. So I'm just gonna try to keep it down. She's only been outside one other time, other than when she just went out to go to the vet. Uh, she's gonna get her next set of shots in four weeks from now. She looking healthy. She looking strong. She looking gorgeous. We're uh, we're gonna drive home with her. We'll see you when we get back home. Okay, so I thought I wasn't gonna record until we got home, but Mila is sleeping like a queen. She is out, human style, just sprawled. Absolutely chilling. I wish I could get to her. I, it's kind of hard to get an angle. Oh, there she is. Look at her. She just chilling. <laughs> she's kind of twitching and stuff when she's sleeping too. It's cute. But is yeah, she being good? It's been a pretty flawless car ride so far. We might stop for a pee pee and poo poo just because this is a long car ride. Hello, Mila. Oh, were you crawling? You shy? Oh, you're not shy. You're not shy. Look at you. That's you in the camera. It's you. Hey? Oh, you, oh, you light the camera. Hey? Here. That's you. <laughs> That's you. Doing good. She's been calm this whole time. I'm just happy she's she's chilling, you know? She's chilling. She's just she's just soaking it all in. She got a blanket with her mother's scent, so this has really been helping, I think. Every time she panics, I just put it near her and then she gives it a little sniff and she's like, yeah. A little schmoozer. Schmoozer for the fans right there. So I'm talking about. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's been an incredibly long day. We we're about, what, like 20 minutes away from home? She has been outstanding. An yeah. outstanding princess this entire so ride. Once we get home, we're gonna, you know, introduce her to the house. Try to make her go pee pee poo poo one more time. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a ton of fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're almost, we're almost through the first day with Mila. It's been a long one. So we just try to show around the house and she's very, very scared at the moment. We ended up doing some training drills with her while she was eating some of her food. We were hand feeding her and she did really, really good. She did a number two. I think she did a number one. I may have missed it. She was really cold and now she's kind of like curdling up. She she really didn't like it outside. Well, we tried playing some games with her, try to keep her active. We don't want her to go to bed now before, you know, we go to bed just because otherwise she'll be up throughout the whole night. She just kind of wants to cuddle now. Chill out, we're gonna try to read her a little bit and, you know, kind of go off what she wants to do. And and then later tonight, we're gonna give her a little bit of a cleanup. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for Mila's first day. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We don't normally do vlogs, but hey, it's a special occasion. You wanna say goodbye? You wanna say goodbye, Mila? Okay, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. We'll uh, see you guys next time. And uh, th thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, catch you guys then. Bye. Keep up, stay up. Peace, guys.